My word, that was grim. Grimmer than my sky blue t-shirt. Manchester United nil, Liverpool three. That's always going to be an appalling scoreline for Manchester United. And it's not the first time that Liverpool have taken United's pants down in recent years. And it feels as bad now as it did then. I know it wasn't seven, just awful. And a mate messaged me halfway through the second half saying, how do I throw my digital season ticket onto the pitch? Clearly he's joking, but you saw by the number of empty seats around Old Trafford towards the end of the game. The prevailing mood, I think there'll be a lot of pressure on Eric Ten Hag now because you've got two defeats in three of the opening games and you've got two weeks now for it all to fester with the international period. We've actually been here before in other post-Ferguson seasons and the mood's just going to sink because of the result, because of the performance. They'll try and do ratings, but as you can see by my expression, I've got very little enthusiasm for that. Um, Manuel Lugati did come onto the pitch, as you can see. I'm hoping, like every United fan, that he is a success. I've heard decent things about him. I spoke to Diego Forlan about him the other day, who would be straight enough with me to say if he wasn't uh, a good signing, and he was just saying that he thinks he'll be a big success. But even then, I'm circumspect because I've heard it all before. I've heard it with so many players. Um, the manager's going to be under a lot of, of pressure now. So let's try and go through the ratings from the notes that are made. Um, the ratings are not very high, as you can imagine. Um, Anana. Uh, I mean, the, the three goals that went past him were, were brilliantly taken. I don't think he was at fault for, for any of them. They didn't actually have that many um, saves to, to make. Um, so... Five, six, five. Uh, Masrawi, um, he's going backwards a little bit. He had a convincing first game of, against uh, Fulham, less so against Brighton. And then where was he for, for Diaz's his, his first goal? Um, Diaz just outclassed him um, with his goals. He was, he was man of the match. Um, he was fine going back. He got a yellow card after 39 minutes. No, I'm talking about Martinez there. Um, Maduro was confident going back. He did have one shot on target after 40 minutes. It was flawed after 46. Um, five out of 10. Matthias uh, De Ligt. I thought he started well. And he was vocal. He was he was confident. He, he, he was booked. But then he made a couple of really poor poor challenges. Um, I'm going to give him a five. Uh, he'll probably look back when he's doing an interview in five, six, seven, eight, nine months and talk about this game being a baptism of fire or whatever. Um, I think he'll come good. Uh, Martinez, he's the one who got the yellow after 39 minutes. Um, I thought he was poor. I did. He's chasing defenders down. Um, but I don't think he's as neat with the ball as he was last season. I still think he's getting back up to, to pace. And he, he, he got booked with a pretty poor challenge. And he, he deserved to be booked for that. That was after 39 minutes. So he was, put, he was really poor. Four out of ten. Um, Diogo Dalot. He was at left back again. Um and he's not as good there as he is, as he is at right back. And Liverpool just tore United apart. These were, he wasn't one of the players who was massively at fault. We're giving him four out of ten. Uh, Casimiro. He lost the ball ten times in the first half. Um, he gave the ball away, which led directly to his Liverpool goal. The second goal. Um, it was a horror performance. You know, speaking to one player on Friday, talking about his professionalism and how impressed he'd been by him pre-season. And I don't think that player was lying to me either. But that was a stinker of a game. He got brought off at half-time. He didn't leave Old Trafford, according to sources. Some people on social media who said that he had done. I've spoken to a couple of people who said that, that that's not true. 
and awful, awful, awful. Three out of ten, awful for him. Um, Kobe Mainu, I thought he was poor. Uh, he lost the ball um, before. Was it before Salah's goal? Um, he'd gone down injured after twenty minutes. Lovely feet after twenty eight minutes. Look, I raised my eyebrows because there's so little to be to be happy about here. Um, it was pushed off the ball for Liverpool's third. Four out of ten. Really, really poor. Um, Garnacho. So that was his first start since the FA Cup final. Um, I barely noticed him. He's. Um, I mean, I think he's going to be a really important player for Manchester United. But he just had a he had a bad day today, giving him giving him four. Uh, and Andy Robertson had the measure of him. Robertson's a very, very good player. Bruno Fernandes, poor ball across in one of United's few attacks. Although United actually more of the possession in the first half. Um, four out of ten. He Bruno today played in as a ten. Um, him with Casemiro and Kobe Mainu behind him were just totally outclassed. Totally. It was worrying watching that. It really was. Um, Marcus Rashford. He'd be lucky to keep his his place in the team. Um, he keeps trying. Um, he created a good chance for, for Xerxes. Four. He knows it as well. He knows he's got to be playing much better than the boy has been doing. Xerxes uh, kept coming deep. He just didn't look like he was settling into it. I've got a lot of notes on him. He was he was booked. Um, he side-footed his shot after 51 minutes. He was beaten to the ball by Van Dijk only... Van Dyke after four minutes. Um, yeah, he's header on 63, easily be easily taken back by Allison. Four. They're all they're all poor. Um so who came on at half times? Uh, Toby Collier came on for Casimiro. What can he do? He's a kid. He'd give it his give it his best shot. Five. Um Harry Maguire. Came on for uh, after sixty eight minutes. I thought I thought it was probably one of United's better players. Um, it came on when it was three 0 and it stayed at three 0 That's six. And Mad, he didn't start. I, I thought he'd done all right in the first first two matches. I could understand why, why he didn't start, but um, I'm giving him a six. He had a couple of of, of dangerous touches. Um, but it was it was too little. It was it was too late. Christian Eriksen came on very late as well, so I can't really give him give him a mark. Uh, I've got pages of notes from this, just putting them down. Um, Eric Tenag will be put under a lot of pressure, and it will be criticised with reason for that today, because it was pretty clear how Liverpool had set up to play, and he didn't adapt tactically um, throughout. Uh, and that really worries me. So Liverpool were doing what they were doing, and there was very little adaptation. So that's it's a bad, bad day. Johnny Evans, ten. Um, thanks to everyone who bought United We Stand. Uh, I get that the mood's on the floor now. I get that people are pissed off. Um, but I like to thank you for supporting. We sold all the magazines out. So thanks a lot for that. We're gonna have a break now. I'm going to be in Ireland. I'm going to tour around Ireland with Brian McClare. It'd be very interesting, actually, to talk to him because he's an intelligent man to get his thoughts, as well as his anecdotes from the past to get his thoughts on the on the scent, on what's going on now. And so we're in Cork Monday, uh, Limerick Tuesday, Galway Wednesday, Dublin Thursday, and Belfast Friday. We've sold about 75% of the tickets. So we're going to have some good nights. There's still tickets left. With me and Chucky, I'll try and be a bit more upbeat, but I think I feel like every Manchester United fan um, right now. I think if Eric Tenard doesn't oversee a significant improvement, then 
they'll talk about his job, he's going to come back. Uh, I backed him around the FA Cup final. And I think most Manchester United fans did. Um, but if United do not get out of this, then he's not going to keep his job. Now, I'm not saying that three games into his season, a man is going to lose his job because that's not, not going to be the case. He will get some time to turn things around. But he needs to because you ain't seen a repeat eighth place finish. And that was a really worrying performance at Old Trafford against Liverpool. It doesn't really get much worse than that. Till next time, goodbye.